Forty Saint Swimming family. Hope everyone had a good Easter. Now we've had a fair few of our members that are keen to get back in the water, and so we've had a bit of a break over the last sort of month. So a lot of us, uh, as we can't get into swimming pools, what we can do, especially those that have got a backyard pool. So Saint Swimming, we're going to start off with. We're going to have some land training exercises, but we're also going to set up a system so you can do some workouts in the water. And a lot of people say, where do we get the swim tethers? You can get them online. But to be honest with you, I find a rope, okay, and a belt just as effective and it's very easy to uh, construct. So I'm going to go through that with you now. Okay, let's go through making through that rope belt. So the bow line, we just want to make a small loop. Now the long length needs to be underneath and the short length that goes around our waist over the top. What we're doing then is going up through that loop and pull it around as tight as you like. From there we go around the long length, back down through, and now you've got yep, your rope belt ready to go. So if you want to get a little bit more comfortable, you can always construct this uh, belt. It comes in two parts, the clip, and then you're buying this webbing here. So this can be found in your hardware store, and we'll actually put some links from Bunnings so you know what to find and where to find it. So, from the belt, then we attach it to a small bowline, so I'll show you that. Okay, so this time, we're making a bowline again. So here we are with our loop, long side underneath. Imagine this is going around our waist. We come up through that hole. We go back around the long line, straight back through the same hole. Pull that nice and tight. And all we need to do then is feed the belt through there. And then around the waist we go and we're ready.